first question. What is the most significant thing a single individual could do to cease the suffering, to end the suffering in the world? Uh, now many of our suffering or problem, which now in the 21st century we are facing, many of these problems are essentially man-made. That's clear. I think the result of our negligence threat in previous century or even before, that's clear. I think like the 11th uh, September was a tragedy, unbelievable sort of event. These things are not happen. This is what I say, suddenly. Uh, but uh, many causes conditions. And uh, among the causes conditions, one prime thing is hatred and determination. So uh, that happened uh, many causes conditions. So maybe some 18th century, 19th century, 20th century sort of was the event eventually bring that kind of disaster. So now, some, like I think Rwanda, these things, and also in the uh, former Yugoslavia, the hatred among the different community, sometimes religious basis, sometimes uh, uh, ethnic. Uh, so these, you see, through generations sometimes, and without proper sort of decor, without, I mean, rain, I mean, due to negligence or suppress. I think former Yugoslavia case, I think, suppress. So when opportunity comes, then these come out and explode. So therefore, the, now, think about the future. We must act now. Because the future depends today. Our past, even something wrong, no one can change that. The past is past. Now future is very important. Still, we have some means, some possible possibility to change future. So future depends on today, present. That's our end. I think some instinct. At least men regarding men with problem. Yes, we have certainly this is a certain sort of city, uh, uh, certain sort of opportunity. Uh, now although I think these big change for world which which effect world we need mass movement, right? Popular movement. But then uh, initiation, uh, initiative, initiative must come from individual. These things cannot carry by regulation or laws. Even the United Nations passed some beautiful resolution, uh, effective limit, right? limited effect. So, individual like us make it start. First, individual level, then family level, then community level, and then also I think the media also very important role. And I think all the different parts of the society, religious leaders and political leaders, and, and everywhere, I think, every field, I think, some sort of uh, responsibility or roles there. But that I think that's why I see. I was trying to, uh, that, to, to, uh, to share, to interact, to make it clear, according to my own experience, like that. First, I think some change in <coughs> within, within yourself, more peace. And here, I think another thing, I think we need the, the problems of conflict. Disagreement. 
always there. That's necessary. Without a contradiction, without a contradiction, there's no possibility of further, uh, 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 further progress. So, opposite forces need. Idea also, so opposite sort of idea need. But then, uh, they, because opposite clash is foolish or short sighted, wrong, destructive, opposite force, then try to uh, synthesize them. Right? Uh, uh, then, through that way, more progress. So, human conflict, I think, Dharma is the means to overcome, keep to opposite and then try to develop some new uh, new events like that. And so sometimes I is it telling uh, people, 20th century, which my century, I belong to the 20th century. Uh, so the 20th century, whether we like it or not, eventually will become a century of war, a century of bloodshed. How many millions of people suffer in war, in violence, uh, immense, unthinkable, uh, but problems still remain. I think the 20th century is violent method, I think the Shah study, the violent method, the other 21st century, not only Lamsi, the other Shah. The, the force of violence and war during the 20th century was so strong that even at the beginning of the next century, which is the 21st century, we are still experiencing its uh, consequences and effects. So therefore, now, today, in this 23rd century, I think we have no other alternative except dialogue. So, so therefore, our century, not, not my century, not these younger people's century, <laughs> right. for, for, as I mentioned earlier, I, I promised to the 20th century, now we are ready to say goodbye, 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 <laughs> but, but the younger generation, you belong mainly to this 21st century. So now this century should be a century of dialogue. That's important. Concept of dialogue or habit right, of dialogue, I think we must, because of the start, in our family life. Whenever you find uh, the husband, the wife, or between brothers, sisters, or even, uh, even as a parent, the children, I think whenever you see some disagreement, uh, definitely just come, uh, not divorce, or not fighting, or not, 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 not because of uh, uh, but that talk uh, on the basis of mutual respect and with holistic view, holistic whole family interest, interest for the whole community. Keeping that in your mind and then sometimes you need some concession. Right? Concession is what you So I think the spirit of dialogue, I think we must start in our family level. That's I think. I want to speak. So, then I also mention, uh, I believe, you see, these are not through preaching or not through church, but through education, awareness. So, in our school, from kindergarten, I think we must, uh, because of that, develop some, I know, including curriculum or some lecture. When, whenever conflict uh, comes, the best way through dialogue and with determination, with awareness of the larger consequences, larger interest. So that I think we must make sure so that, uh, that introduce or become something. The Chitanga Shaya Nishichi poses our literature. We must find out. Uh, uh, we must find a way of somehow uh, bringing this into, uh, even at the education level, even at the kindergarten level, 
and make it really part of an integral part of the whole education and upbringing system so that it becomes a, an instinctive habit of a young child. Whenever they would see a conflict, instinctively the person would, the child would respond in a way of finding a dialogue, a way of dialoguing. Just as we would normally respond to someone who is sick, take medicine, uh, seek a, seek a, find a doctor.